Um, it looked like Zach Britton was grabbing his hamstring. Was it indeed his hamstring? And how bad do you think it is? We'll, we'll know tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll know whether it's a cramp, whether it's a strain, whatever. But yeah, it was in the hamstring area. And then with Herman, he obviously got off to a very slow start. What were you seeing from him in that first inning? Yeah, I, I thought, you know, it, it took a minute to get a secondary going, you know, a little bit non-competitive early with the secondary and then, you know, missed, missed some spots with his fastball again. You know, I thought stuff-wise he was fine and in line with, with what he is when he's really good. And then I thought he got going. He started settling in, found his breaking ball a little bit, started locating the fastball a little bit better, but, um, but obviously a little bit of a tough start there for him. Were you okay with the Urshela send with nobody out in the fourth inning there? Yeah, I mean, obviously that wasn't, you know, you, you know, we probably got to hold them up there. You know, Phil's as good as it gets over there at third base. Um, and, you know, so, but probably, you know, in that spot, a little bit too aggressive of a send, but you know, there's no one I'd want over there, you know, at, at coaching third than Phil. And, but it was probably a little aggressive considering, you know, as well as Renfro obviously throws the ball. You go next to Ken Davidoff. Hey, Aaron, I don't know how good a look you got at uh, Herman's error in the in the fourth, but it, it, seemed, it seemed like maybe he still had time to throw him out, uh, Renfro out, but then held on to it. Did you get a, a feel for that? Yeah, it's just, you know, pretty simple play. You know, first, e even after the bobble, you know, still plenty of time there. And I just don't think he had a good grip on the ball and, you know, feared probably throwing it away at that point. So, you know, that's that's an area of, of Domingo's game that, you know, we got to continue to work hard at and 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 get better at. Thank you. Yeah. We go to Dan Martin. Aaron, uh, you know, it's four game, only four games, but it's four four losses against the Red Sox. How, how tough is that to start off the season series with with your rivals like that, considering where you are in the standings? I mean, I don't know how you want me to answer that question. We got a, we got a big one tomorrow. We got to come out and grab it. You know, we got to, you know, obviously if we're going to be the team we're going to, we expect to be, we got to, we got to play better against the top teams in the division. Marley Rivera, please unmute. Hi, Aaron. Obviously a tough, uh, defensive game out there on the field. Were you surprised? And also, if you can give us an evaluation of how Miggy and Judge did in the outfield, please. Thank you. Yeah, I thought Miggy and Judge were, were good, especially Judge. Judge had some, you know, you know, not overly, you know, hard where he's running into a gap, but a couple of, you know, balls hit really hard at him where he had to retreat a little bit. And he's so fundamentally sound out there. You know, we see him all the time, obviously, in right. But I thought he made a couple of plays look relatively seamless out in center field tonight um you know and, and obviously not handling the comebacker uh you know you know out, outside of that i mean uh yeah and, and that obviously ended up costing us a run and we can go to greg joyce for the next question Aaron, I know you said you, you would know more tomorrow about Britain, but just how frustrating is, is an injury like that for him, you know, considering all that he's already been through this season? Yeah, certainly. You know, hopefully it's it's nothing too serious. We'll have to see. But, yeah, definitely some, you know, feel for Brit in that spot, knowing what he's been through to get back. And, and I thought tonight, you know, probably throwing the ball as well as we've seen him. I thought he was really crisp. I thought it was coming out really nice. The sink, you know, through some good sliders, especially the Devers there. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what we have tomorrow, but yeah, certainly feel for him. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Aaron, if you discussed the improving bat quality at bat quality over the last week or so, uh, mm -hmm. not a whole lot of offense beyond the second inning tonight, aside from the, the late rally. How did you judge the offense? Yeah, I mean, I thought our bats were okay. You know, they did a good job in those middle innings there. Obviously, their, their bullpen coming in and, and neutralizing us. Um, you know, Salamora, Whitlock, and, and Otto were all really good 
uh, and kind of held us down a little, held us at bay, and we we didn't mount a whole lot. Um, but but still up and down. I, I thought there were some good at bats from from everyone. We gave gave ourselves a chance there against their closer there in the ninth, and just obviously couldn't break through. But um, yeah, you know, I, I I still feel like the offense is is in a pretty good spot moving forward. Any considerations of having Clint Bunt there uh, with the two guys on? And, and no, that's... no. Dan Martin, back to you. Aaron, uh, Gio tested himself pretty well on that on that infield single in the ninth. He was okay when you when you pinch ran for him. He was, you know, uh, yeah. I thought he was, you know, not, um, you know, probably not quite a hundred percent Gio, but um, but I thought was was getting o around okay. I just, you know, decided um, there in the ninth, you know, with with Barnes being a little slow to the plate, that maybe it's a situation where. You know, if there's a stolen base opportunity, you get two guys moved up there or, you know, <clears throat> with one out there, if there's a base hit um, in a situation where, you know, Guardy can score and maybe Waiter can get the third base there, you know, with less than two outs, I just felt like it's probably the, the right time to, to run the second guy.